This is a wake-up call for Republicans. America elected Joe Biden by over 7 million votes. And you're confused because you didn't see us flock to his rallies and cheer his smackdowns like we were at a pro wrestling event during a global pandemic. We don't wear matching hats or have no more malarkey flags waving from the backs of our trucks. Do you know why? Because Biden is not our tribal warlord. We believe the job of a U.S. president is to represent more than one interest group. That's why 81 million of us turned out to stop a narcissistic personality cult that embodies all seven of the deadly sins, most of all pride, which you've taken to levels of blasphemy, claiming your political leaders are handpicked by Jesus Christ. This country is called the United States, and we have multiple converging crises that need adult supervision. But we are being distracted, trying to get control over a critical mass of you who no longer believe in reality, who've been hypnotized to fear a Joe Biden presidency whenever you hear the trigger words, radical socialist. Never mind that Biden is backed by America's billionaires whose existence depend on corporate capitalism, so your cognitive dissonance is staggering, but understandable because the most sophisticated mass media tools ever created have eviscerated your powers of discernment. And there's a gold rush on slinging alternative facts, making millions for opportunists who've taken you for quite a ride. But you need to wake up now and start the deprogramming. The election was not stolen. All that proof you kept sharing about suitcases and duffel bags of discarded ballots, it's all been debunked. All the affidavits claiming widespread fraud have been thrown out. Over 60 lawsuits contesting the election in Arizona, Georgia, Michigan, Nevada, Pennsylvania, Wisconsin, Republican states. Many of the cases overseen by Republican and Trump appointed judges. 61 cases tossed out. Trump's hack attorneys are being sued or are under threat of disbarment. That's consistent with the countless criminal prosecutions of many former Trump associates. But the PR stunt worked on the tens of millions of Americans primed for mass hysteria. You succumbed to Salem witch trial levels of mental lapse, believing our elections were stolen based on spectral evidence. Dreams about krakens, which are make-believe. It's time to wake up now. Black Lives Matter is not a terrorist organization any more than Martin Luther King Jr. was a terrorist, or Gandhi, or Nelson Mandela. Peaceful protests and strikes and boycotts that's how a society creates change without violence. Everybody reasonable knows that violence and looting and murder are wrong and counterproductive to a peaceful society. That's why everybody reasonable condemns militarized cops executing citizens over cigarettes, cell phones, driving, jogging, walking, sleeping, resisting execution. That's what Black Lives Matter has been protesting. This isn't a partisan issue. It's the largest civil rights movement in the history of the nation. You need to wake up now. If you join Black Lives Matter, then all lives will matter. If it helps you understand it better, shut your eyes, say to yourself, my life matters and Black Lives Matter. If we unite, there's hope. We can end the savage practice of imprisoning millions of people for the crime of being black or brown or poor. Atoning for and correcting the mistakes of our ancestors does not mean the next logical step is white genocide. Unless you think the legitimate purpose of the criminal justice system is to protect white supremacy like it has up until this moment, if that's your underlying premise, you're a racist. That's why you wave a Confederate flag. You just doxed yourself and you need conversion therapy. Time to wake up. There's no national Antifa network pretending to be fascist Trump supporters who want civil war. Antifa are anti-fascists who only exist right now because there are fascist Trump supporters threatening civil war. Inspired by the official Republican platform, which doesn't have anything in it, other than clinical paranoia. Re-educating you to believe there's a conspiracy to seize your guns and gender identity at the same time, so you're so disoriented you can't defend yourself against a mass immigrant invasion threatening your livelihood. Come on. The real danger came from putting a recklessly uneducated man with a personality disorder in the White House. 
who spent his one catastrophic term branding America's democratic cities enemies of the country while taking credit for economic growth rates he inherited from a Democrat. He and his Republican Senate, under the smokescreen of your disassociation from reality and the brand name Drain the Swamp, filled the cabinet with profiteers like themselves. Billionaires made a trillion bucks while they gutted our State Department, our FBI, our CIA, our DHS, our post office. Whatever Trump touched, he wrecked. They attacked our U.S. education system. They tore down the minimal regulations that we have protecting America's water and air. They turned our already abysmal borders into a human rights crisis. They smeared America's top scientists and doctors, our healthcare system. They attacked our entire U.S. media. Their willful incompetence has been so destructive. The USA is the epicenter of the worst pandemic in 100 years. Hundreds of thousands of us are dead. Millions are hungry and struggling to survive. And their final act was a massive campaign to try to sabotage the bedrock upon which we stand, American democracy itself. This is on you, the Republican Party. The majority of white America elected a man whose business model is lying, who demands total obedience, while swindling and eventually turning on all of his employees and followers after years of abuse. You elected a perfect cult leader. Our enemies are ecstatic. Our allies are horrified because of the suicidal Republican ideology of opposing any limits on gluttony and greed. What was once a beacon of hope all over the world, American democracy, is no longer a given. Your right-wing leaders and shouting heads, they're not going to stop clawing their way down a bottomless pit of excuses to continue profiting off of selling you a virtual alternate reality made up of false accusations and revenge fantasies, giving you a persecution complex they won't stop feeding no matter how many of you are driven right off the deep end. Any citizen of the United States continuing to fall for it. Some of you thinking of taking up arms against the strongest military power on earth. Others making excuses for these terrorists because you share the same beliefs. You're delusional. You don't have a political party anymore. Come back to reality. January 6th, 2021. That was your come to Jesus moment. Armed insurgents threatened to hang the vice president, kill the speaker of the house. They dragged a cop down a flight of stairs and brutally beat another with an American flag. They killed police. A suicidal QAnon follower gave her life trying to break into the house chamber. For what? The most significant terror attack on our country since 9-11 happened because Republican radicals believe Democrats are Satan-worshipping pedophiles who stole their country, and they'd rather die than lose the protection of their leader. Defending truth and democracy and equality for all people against any tyranny, foreign and domestic, is the only thing that unites us and protects our freedoms. That's why Trump is being held accountable for his crimes, along with every congressperson, every official, every officer who conspired or continues to wage a mass deception campaign to overthrow American democracy, especially under the threat of violence. The First Amendment protects our right to express ourselves without fear of arrest. The right to free speech does not include threats of violence, and it certainly does not grant the authority to force media platforms to broadcast single-party hate propaganda that claim only its members are the real America. For the former Republican Party, who call themselves patriots, this is your wake-up call. Your nightmare of a brainwashed, radical, anti-American movement trying to destroy the country was you. This is a wake-up call for Republicans 